All right, so in the last video, I talked about how you could add color to a black and white image. Um, there's something that a lot of people have covered for software like GIMP and Photoshop, but very few people talk about um, for paint.net, so let's do that here. Um, in the last video, we actually did that for a full image, and uh, I noticed in some of the comment sections in the other videos that uh, some people uh, ask about what to add, what, how do they add color to just a single element in a picture. So that's what we're going to do now. It, it's pretty much the same strategy. Let's look for a black and white photo. And the eye looks nice. Let's do the eye. All right. So you want to save the eye to the computer, and there you have already had that there. So you want to open the eye in your paint.net. It's pretty much a full black and white image. The only thing that we're going to color is this section inside the eye, right? We're not going to color the skin. We're not going to do the little veins. We're not going to turn them red or anything like that. We're not going to focus on this. We're just going to give a little bit of color to the iris. All right, so um, we want to add a new layer, just like we did in the previous video. You want to choose the color that you're going to give the iris. In my case, I'm, I'm feeling playful, I guess. So let's go ahead and do two different colors. You want to get a decent sized brush. This is a larger image. So let's make it green. You want to color over the entire item that you want to add color to. And then let's make the inner side red. Why red? Because, well, why not? A lot of fictional characters have one eye of uh, one color. You know, the left eye is red, the green, the, the right eye is green, or whatever. Um, but I've never really seen an eye with multiple colors. Well, I guess I've seen one um, in Japanese manga. I don't remember the series, something about ninjas. Um, Let's just go ahead and do that here. And then you want to play with transparency. Um, I like 150. It usually works best. And then you can use many settings. One of the many settings you can use multiply. You can use darken sometimes. Looks nice. I like overlay. Then you go ahead and go into effects and blur so that you don't see just kind of like a jagged break. You want to have a sort of smooth transition. And let's set it to 25. I feel that 25 makes it look nice. OK. And there you have your eyeball with only one thing having been recolored. Now let's do this with a person. Um, let's see if we can fight black and white photo guy. Yeah, let, let's do this one. All right, so here we have two dudes this is kind of doing a very awkward fist bump. And what we'll do is we're going to take this bland looking shirt and we'll make it um, orange. So orange is a cool color. So again, you add the layer. You color over the shirt. Now, of course, you don't have to use orange. You can use whatever color you want. And you don't want to color anything else because you just want to add color to one thing in the photo. In this case, we're just doing the one guy's shirt. And you want to play around with the brush size. Make sure that you get everything. And I believe that this part of the shirt. Just 
of this round. Again, you don't really need to be incredibly meticulous because we're going to blur the color a little bit. And that's going to make the edges basically blend into the background. So we've done that and now we go ahead and play with transparency. I am again going to go with 150. And again you can play with the different settings. You can do multiply, you can do overlay, you can do darken sometimes looks nice. I'm gonna go ahead and stick with overlay. Now that you've done that if you want to go back and color some of the extra sessions, uh, sections that you might have missed, you can do that. You know, just give a little bit more detail. And if you're really good with the brush, and you are very patient, you will be able to essentially color inside the lines, so to speak. And you won't really have to blur anything. In my case, this is just a, qu a quick sort of tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and blur it. So we go to Effects, Blur, and let's play around with the percentage of the blur. Let's see, let's just do 10% blur, and there you have a single thing recolored, or a single item recolored, just the guy's shirt. Alright, so um, I hope you learned something um, with this video. With the next one, we'll look at color images and what you can do to make them nicer. Alright, so see you then.